For the Daisy keychain tutorial, I'm going to be using 24-7 cotton, which is a mercerized cotton, and I really like it because it is durable and it really has great stitch definition. To start off, make a slip knot and then chain 55. Go ahead and turn your chain to the side and begin working a single crochet into the back bump of the second chain from the hook. You'll single crochet a total of 54 stitches into the back bumps. Next, you will chain three and turn your work. Single crochet five together to make your first daisy stitch and chain one. Insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop. The second stitch, pull up a loop. The third stitch, pull up a loop. The fourth stitch, pull up a loop and the fifth stitch and pull up a loop. You'll now have six loops on your hook and you will yarn over and pull through all six and then chain one. So this is your daisy stitch. Um, so we're gonna look at the anatomy of this stitch. First, right here, you have the eye of the stitch and then this spot right here is the space between the last two legs and the stitch that you last worked into. Now you'll begin your daisy stitch repeat. Insert your hook into the eye, yarn over and pull up a loop. Insert the hook between the last two legs of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the last work stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then insert your hook into the next two stitches and pull up a loop. Then you'll pull through all six loops and chain one. Repeat this daisy stitch through the last stitch, ending with a half double crochet in the same stitch you end on.
chain one and turn your work. Single crochet into the top of the half double crochet. Single crochet into the eye of the stitch. Skip a stitch and place two single crochets into the eye. And repeat that for a total of 25 times. So skip a stitch and insert two single crochets into that next eye. chain one and turn and single crochet all the way across. Instead of turning your work, you are going to rotate and then place four single crochets along that side. You'll rotate your work again chain one and then place slip stitches across. Be sure not to slip stitch too tightly or else your work will start curving. Once you make it to the end, you'll rotate your work again and place five single crochets along that edge. And now you are so close to being finished. Check out how pretty this daisy stitch is before moving on to the finishing steps. Leave a pretty good tail so that you can weave in and secure your keychain. Insert your keychain into the split ring and fold over with the wrong sides facing. That pretty daisy stitch should be on the outside.
Next, with our darning needle, we are going to be stitching across to bind those two ends together. Move the ring up to the seam and then sew back and forth below the ring. That way we can secure that ring in place. Once you feel it's secure enough, go ahead and weave in your ends and then trim your tails. And that concludes the Daisy Keychain tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow us on our other social media accounts. Bye!